Hello, we hope everybody's doing okay. Today we have an exciting new RC that we got in the mail. This is the WPL E1 116th track vehicle modeled after the Gaz 71 Russian track vehicle. Now, we got this on Amazon and some things are different from the actual WPL um, one they sell on their site. Like the door there says WPL, the actual factory one does not. The packaging on this doesn't say WPL. This was sold by a different company. But from everything we've seen inside, we took it apart, it all says WPL on it. So we contacted the company just to see exactly what's going on and waiting for a reply. But yeah, this is it. We're going to check it out and show the modulation and everything on it and see if it's a good little track vehicle. We're excited about it and we can't wait to upgrade it. So we're going to do a little turn in place here just to show you. A regular wheeled RC would not be able to do this. See, the modulation is really good on this thing. See how slow you can get to crawl. Really nice. All right, we're gonna get this thing set down. We're gonna take a look at the box and see the differences that we see. All right, taking a look at the box here. The box looks very similar. The only thing it's missing is the WPL branding up there. Everything else looks the same. It does not have turn signals and stuff like that, so we don't know why it says that there. But on the back, it's the same exact thing. It shows the trailer that they are hopefully coming out with. Maybe it was another factory making this and WPLRC bought it, but you see the stickers there, the actual thing. Maybe this is a first generation model. We're not 100% sure. But yeah, everything looks the same, but this was made September 1st, 2022. So this is a newer model. But again, here it says nothing, but on the actual door, it says WPL. So that's the first couple things we noticed. We'll take a look at it. I mean, all the doors open nice and everything. They got a nice interior in there. Door stays shut. The battery compartment is right here with the switch, it comes with a battery. This little thing comes off here. All the road wheels move. So what we did was we just greased everything inside. You know, there's tons of unboxing videos that you guys can watch on YouTube, but we wanted to get more to the performance and meat and potatoes. So we went ahead and just made sure all the screws were tightened, checked all the road wheels and made sure they were all coming back down on the stops down there. Cause some of them were getting stuck in the up position like that. And these screws were too tight from the factory. So we went ahead and greased everything. We opened it up inside, it says WPL. You have a slot on the ESC for another set of lights. So you can put some three millimeter lights back here on and have this thing have front and rear lights. Yeah, this is basically it right here. We're gonna turn it on. The lights start flashing. Here's the controller, standard WPL controller. And to bind it, you're just gonna rotate the steering and there you go. Now it's binded. So the steering is proportionate and the throttle is proportionate. So a little bit of steering. You can see there both tracks move opposite ways. You got forward, reverse, forward. When you're driving, it'll and when you turn, it'll actually stop that track. So it can rotate if you see that track is stopped. And we'll do the same for the other side here. You see that stops there. Same thing for there, it stops. But then if you let the throttle go, you'll get opposite tracks. So that's really, really cool. 
and well thought out. Now there are two buttons on the top here. The top button here, if you click and hold it, you can turn the headlights on and off. So that's pretty cool. If you click it once, it'll increase the, the stand in place turning speed. So you can control the steering faster or slower. We found that keeping it on the slower rate is more realistic. Also, with the speed, this button gives you a slight speed increase when you click it. You can hear it. But again, on, on the lower speed is really where it works best. Low turn, low throttle. But this thing works great. We'll take the cat or the um, crew compartment off here. And you can store a lot of stuff in there. Bat an extra battery if you wanted to put it in there. Anything. Little little characters. So it's pretty cool. It's lightweight. It has metal bearings in there and there's metal rivets. So the road wheels are plastic, but the bearings and the axles and everything are metal. It's got two 130 motors in there, and like we said, a slot for the uh, rear lights, which is good. All right, so we're gonna get a couple little obstacles set up and check out the road wheels. All right, we got about a one inch step set up here, and the only gripe we have about the suspension is the way that the model is plastic and weighted, it doesn't really load the suspension properly because these are little torsion bars. So you'll see when we get over this thing. So as you can see, the track wants to keep going. We're about halfway up and we don't have no flex in the road wheels. They do move and flex, but it's just not enough weight. And if we keep going, you'll start to see there's a hard tipping point. We, we kind of want to get rid of that. And you can see the road wheel moving a little bit. It's just there's not enough weight inside of this track vehicle for this type of suspension. And you see it kind of just falls back down. So we'd want to see some flex in these road wheels. Look at how high that goes before it actually wants to kick over. So... it jumps right over it but again we're gonna keep working on this thing and modifying it we'll show you how slow the modulation is it's it's actually really really slow And that's my finger not so steady. But as you can see, the modulation is very good. You can, you can crawl with this thing. Same thing with the steering. Nice and slow, one track stays stopped. Yeah, so for off-brand WPL, or maybe this is WPL, the new packaging, we don't know. This thing does fantastic. So stay tuned for more updates. We're going to upgrade this thing and see how far we can get it. We want to kind of get it like the actual real one where it floats in water. And we want to put a smoke generator on it and some things like that. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Please like, share, and comment. Thanks.